Hello everybody. So today we're going to be installing a Windows 11 copy from a USB flash drive into a solid state drive of your choice. Hope you guys like it and please subscribe for more. Alrighty, so once we're on the computer, what we're going to do is we're just going to open up our browser and we are going to type in Windows 11 install ISO. So it's probably going to be the first link that we get here. And then we are going to go to create Windows 11 media installation. So just click download now. We're going to do keep and we're going to open the file. And if it gives you a pop up, click yes. Now we should be seeing this screen right here, getting a few things ready. We want to make sure again that that USB drive is plugged in and eight gigabytes at minimum. Okay, so we're just going to always use the recommended options for this PC. So I'm going to click next. I'm going to be doing USB flash drive. It needs to be at least eight gigabytes. So I plugged in my USB and it's right here. A reminder, everything in this USB will be getting destroyed. So make sure you have no data on it. So this is probably going to take a little bit. I've been going for about five minutes here and we're still downloading it. And I'm only at 51%, but I'm going to up to you guys once I'm done. Okay, so once we're done, it's going to say your USB drive is ready. So I'm just going to click finish and it's going to be done right away. So I'm going to go ahead, click this bottom arrow on the right hand side and just eject my disk just so I can pull it out safely. And then we're going to move on to the next part here. Alrighty, so now that we are at my setup, I'm going to go ahead, take my USB drive and plug it into my computer that we're installing Windows 11 on. I'm going to go ahead, turn on my computer. So as soon as your computer boots up, what we're gonna do is spam the delete key or uh, F10 or F2, whatever one goes into the BIOS. So on my keyboard, I am hitting the delete key. Okay, so now that we are in the BIOS, and again, this BIOS is gonna look different for everybody. So what we're really gonna look for is um, the boot option here. So. We're gonna have a boot option one, which is gonna be a, it could be your normal drive, but we're actually gonna boot into this USB stick. So I'm gonna go into boot override. I'm gonna, you're gonna find the boot settings. There should be a setting on the top that says boot. We're gonna find boot override, or if you could just switch the boot order to the same, to the whatever USB drive you guys did use. So I'm just gonna press enter on that USB drive that I found. Again, everybody's BIOS will be different. So please keep that in mind. And if you can, if you're confused, leave it in the comments and then maybe I could help you. So now perfect. So now we just loaded into that USB stick and sorry if the angle's a little weird. Uh, this is my first time recording with this one. So I'm gonna press next, next. And then I'm just gonna do install Windows 11. So I'm gonna click, I agree, everything will be deleted. So my product key, I don't have my product key currently, so I'm just gonna do, I don't have one. And you can either do, if you know you have Windows 11 Home or Pro, I, uh, I have Home, so I'm just gonna do Next. And then I'm gonna click Accept. And then it's gonna find our hard drive that we have plugged in. So here is where people are gonna get tripped up and confused. So disc one, I have two disc in. A lot of people will either have one disc in or two disc in or three. So disc zero is my SSD. That is gonna be what we're gonna put this ISO in. So I'm gonna go ahead, click this zero, click all the partitions and I'm gonna click delete. So I'm gonna click this zero, delete. This zero again, Partition one, I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna, again, click this zero is now uh, unallocated space is the only thing. So I can't delete this zero anymore. Disk one, that is gonna be my USB drive. And then I did format it where I have uh, another space for that. Again, if you have a disk two in here, you probably have an M.2 or a hard drive. So always pay attention to the total size. Don't delete everything in here. Just delete whatever is on that main hard drive and make sure you're, collect, you're uh, selecting the correct one. So I'm just gonna click this zero because that is the only SSD that I have in my system. So if you have more with like two terabytes but you're installing on a one terabyte, 
please click the right size. So again, I'm gonna click this zero. I'm gonna click next. And then here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install. So just click install. And then your screen might look different depending on what version of Windows 11 you're installing. But I'm gonna go ahead, let this complete, and then uh, I'll be right back with you guys. So after it finishes, make sure you plug out your hard drive, take it out of the system so it doesn't boot into that. And then once we get back in there, it's just gonna tell you that it's gonna go ahead, complete that Windows install. And this might take, it depends on your hardware, but it took me around five, five to 10 minutes. So keep that in mind. Again, it's gonna be different for everybody. So just let it do its updates. and. Make sure you have an ethernet cable, and if you don't have Wi-Fi, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to skip that, so stay tuned for that one. Okay, so as you see, we are in this screen, so I'm gonna go ahead and click yes, because I'm from the United States. And then here, just again, click yes, and then I'm not gonna add another keyboard. So once we go ahead and get here, we are just gonna do Shift F10 on our keyboard, and it's gonna bring a command prompt here. We're gonna do caps lock O-O-B-E, and then we're going to do a slash, oops, gotta click in it. Make sure you click in it. And then O-O-B-E slash bypass. And then it's going to be N-O-R. Oops, I think I did that slash backwards. Yep, I did. So after you get that slash the correct way, it's going to go ahead and load up without a Wi-Fi connection. And you should be able to install a local account this way. And you could definitely connect to the internet if you have a Microsoft account. But if you do not, you want to follow this way. So yeah, after you do that without the Microsoft account, it's going to do the same thing again. So we're going to have to set it up. And then just do, I don't have internet. And then for the name, we're just going to name this test. Click next. And then a password, I'm just going to do something super, super, super short. Again, you're just gonna have to fill all of this out with your information. I'm just gonna do a quick. Okay, perfect. And now here, I just like to turn all these off, but you could leave them on, does not matter. And then again, it's gonna run through a few more sets of updates. And then after that, you will be fully in Windows with your USB stick and you'll have a clean install of Windows and you should be good to go after that. And if you guys enjoyed, please uh, be sure to like and comment what I can improve on for these videos because that will help. I'm getting my angles right. This is my first video with this uh, with this camera, so I'm, I'm working on the angles, but you are good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching.